Hello everyone, this is Iraq THS here. Wanted to get a quick video out on um, the uh, little bit of experiment I did um, with base running sliders uh, over the past week. For those who were not here on my video last Thursday or my or my stream last Thursday, I stream on Monday. Um, there was a discussion on Thursday about the effectiveness of base running sliders and whether we should turn those up. And on Monday, I did a lot of data collection and a little bit of analysis around that, um, specifically about the, around the base running numbers. Uh, you can see here, um, I have not compiled the rest of it into anything. It's just raw data, other than I did some win loss percentage for fun, and uh, I, com I compiled this. We'll get back to this in a second. So what I wanted to do is I want to show the strategy adjustments I made. So I took this slider um, from conser all the way at conservative to right on the middle. And then I went to player strategy and uh, we'll go to all batters here. And for players like Taylor Davis, without good stealing or base running, I went ahead and left them as is. For players like uh, Devin Marrero, with the better base running, uh, really 60 and above, other than the David Fletcher for some reason I left him as is. Um, but uh, for Devin Marrero, um, I turned up his stealing a little bit. Most importantly, I turned up his base running. Um, so you can see, you know, Travis Jankowski I did that with. Uh, I need to go enter a new tournament here really quickly um, after this. So Travis Jankowski's up a little bit. He's the most aggressive because he's the only one of these guys that really is truly a backup. Um, so I'm more aggressive with my backups than with my um, starters when it comes to sliders. Um, Steve Hovley has a little bit and Mark Quinn has a little bit. Um, I think Kevin Newman has some, no, he's not adjusted upward. That's weird. I should have adjusted him upward. Um, anyway, so we're gonna hop out of this really quickly and we cannot sign up for another tournament because we're still waiting for this one to kick off. Okay. So let's come back over here to the spreadsheet. So what you're looking at is up here is after the change and down here is before the change and you have all the players here. I know my, my camera is covering up a lot of the uh, players over in, over in this area, but it's the same list as up here in the same order. It's just uh, alphabetical by first name. So you're not really, you're not really missing anything. The rest of this is, uh, um, you know, just the raw numbers. This is what you need to look at, these last five columns. Um, so, uh, and really the last four. The stolen base numbers are a little bit down in terms of raw stolen bases per 500 plate appearances, which isn't that surprising when you consider the fact that you're gonna have fewer steals opportunities if you're taking the extra base more often. What you're looking at is the wins above replacement, which is up, the win probability added, which is up significantly, and then the base running and UVR are both up by about 0.5. So the WAR is up about 0.4, and the WPA is actually up 0.9. So WPA is the one I'm really looking at here for how much it's affecting my ability to win, or how it's translating into wins. Um, because you don't have the theoretical um, you know, uh, replacement player that uh, jumps into the WAR calculation. You don't have the, uh, you, don't, you know, you're taking, you're adding the cumulative effect of that extra base to the entire outcome. Whereas this is just saying, this is how much value they're adding with the base runner. There's a little bit of that theoretical uh, replacement level player in those, where this is just raw. How much is your play translating into a win? So it's up about 0.9, which is a little under one win uh, per 500 plate appearances team wide. Um, so you go over here to this table where I calculate a few more things. Uh, you can really see what the effect of that is on your tournament results um, and what your, your rewards and your return is. So here is through 70 something uh, tournaments. Here's what was going on before. Um, it was 0.47 packs per tournament with about a 50% win rate. You know, you just barely over 50% win rate. Whereas after that change, you're looking at a 
I somehow deleted this. I think it was when, uh, during the previous recording, Finn jumped down. We'll just copy that in there. And there you have it. That is a 55% win rate with 0.88 packs per tournament. Uh, that is almost doubling your return on investment in terms of tournaments entered. So it is extremely valuable. There is um, anecdotal evidence from some other people that even more aggressive sliders have even more return. Uh, but really what I wanted to do here is I wanted to put a um, just kind of a numerical value, a quantitative value on what's been discussed a little bit among some of the iron tourney players right now. Uh, so you can kind of see how this is affecting things. You probably see more aggressive base runners, which is going to bring more value to those outfielders that have de defense. Um, so, you know, those defending outfielders are, you know, those, those non-defensive outfielders. Uh, I think a lot of people are running defense kind of as a secondary or even tertiary priority in the outfield, um, especially in uh, the corners. Well, that's going to be really... Um, punished if we're if we're, you're going to see a lot more aggressive base running so i think that is potentially um, a shift in the meta that will be coming so um keep an eye on that i will try and get these numbers compiled and uh made available the whole data set uh here before too much longer there is a lot of transformation that i have to do on this data to make it usable um so Keep an eye out for that. I'll get it in the description whenever it's available. But I did just want to get this video out there for everyone to see and kind of see the results of what I was working on on Monday. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel here and follow me on, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash irackths to find out when I go live. Uh, I will be going live here um, sometime this afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, um, to just uh, do some, either some out of the park stuff or some NCAA 14, it depends on what's going on with my, uh, with some other things. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.